Here with head coach Jerry Boland of the DNE wrestling team and coach the MEC championships right around the corner. Uh, where would you assess your team and where they're at right now? Uh, right now, I feel like we're uh, where we need to be in terms of this part of the season. I mean, the, the nature of the sport, you're going to get banged up, you know, you're going to get hurt, you're going to go through some injuries. And we, de we definitely suffered quite a few of those earlier in the year and through the, mid you know, through the middle of the season. And I feel like right now, for the most part, you know, we're getting as healthy as we can. And, um, you know, hopefully we're peaking at the right time. That's what it's all about, you know, staying healthy and peaking at the right time. And, and I'm hoping that's where we are. We're working hard enough. And, you know, the guys are motivated, and they're motivated you know, by each other. And, you know, and it's you know, hopefully it transitions into a successful uh, end of the season run. Coming off of a couple of big dual wins last weekend against Southern Virginia and York, uh, what did your team do to come out with uh, two big victories and the conference championships? I think a lot of it is just you know, like I said, how hard how hard we work and, and how hard they believe in how much they believe in each other and what we're doing here. Um, it's no secret, you know, the, the beginning of the month, you know, we had a, a gauntlet of, uh, of competition, you know, hitting the Millersville Open with a lot of those D1 red shirts and and uh, extra guys and stuff like that. You know, we were one of the few non-D1 teams there. And then uh, the next week hitting, you know, a couple nationally ranked teams out there and with the Kutztown duels and then, and then the other two, you know, Millersville and uh, Shippensburg, both established programs and just having a good showing there and, 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 and just you know, being competitive and believing and not, not rolling over for anybody. And then, and then you go down and, and, and to wrestle two, you know, again, two established teams, but you know, not quite on the level of the other two, the other teams we've been seeing. Um, with, you know, with all respect to the, with all due respect to those two teams, but I think they just, you know, have, they believe in themselves and they believe in, you know, in, in the work ethic that they've, you know, brought in here. And looking forward here to the MEC Championships, uh, what's your assessment of the field? Obviously, some good teams. And, uh, yeah. What can you be expecting here uh, come conference championship time? I mean, it's obviously it's the first year for the MEC tournament, and um, there's only six teams in the tournament, but. You know, three of them are ranked nationally, um, which presents a pretty competitive field. A little room for error. You know, some. You know, if you have like a 16, if you have a 16 team tournament and three of those teams are ranked, you have a chance to have like a match that might be, you know, first round match. It might be a little bit of a warm up match, or you know, you know, you know just get, you know, get get things going. But you don't have that opportunity here. Chances are, you know, you're, you're gonna have a kid that's a national caliber right off the bat. You know. Um, so it's going to be a it's going to be a fun experience, and it's going to be one that you know we, we're embracing and looking forward to. It's going to be exciting to be a part of it.